everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you our Thanksgiving Tablescape 2019. Thanksgiving here in Canada is this coming Monday, so I thought it'd be fun to share with you how I get our dining room ready for Thanksgiving. Usually when I share a tablescape idea, it's for six people, maybe eight people. So when I do a dinner for 12 or 13, it's a little bit more of a challenge. So I wanted to show you how I put together a tablescape for a large group of people, mixing and matching things and using mostly what I have already ready for a budget-friendly but beautiful tablescape for Thanksgiving. So whether you are in Canada like me and are celebrating this weekend, or if you're in the States and you're celebrating in November, I hope you find this video helpful as you prepare for your Thanksgiving dinner this year. Let's get started. So first of all, our table is so dusty, so I hope you can forgive me for that. I gave it a really nice clean after I set it up. One of the things I love most about our table in our dining room is that you can easily open it up like I'm doing here, and then you can pull up two hidden leaves that are in the center of the table and just flip them up so easily. This is one of the reasons why I wanted this table was because it was so easy to convert from a table that suited our family of five to a table that could fit 12 comfortably for larger dinners. Our table is called the Keswick table and it's from The Brick and they gave it to me a couple years ago to feature on my blog. I will link to it down in the description box below. So I put a couple of my vintage chairs on either end of the table and then I also had these other vintage chairs I brought up from the basement and put on the sides. And then I also just grabbed the bench that my daughter, my daughter little C had in her room and we actually put the faux fur on it a couple years ago and that added a few extra seats to our table. So I don't think it's bad to mix and match seating if you have to. I think it works especially if you have neutral colored seating. Then I grabbed a whole bunch of different small glasses that I have as well as these little mercury glass candle holders. Um, I got these pumpkins from our local pumpkin farm. You might remember them from my front porch. They can't be out there anymore because it is now frosty here. And I found these roses from Costco. I love getting roses at Costco because they're a really great price and you get a whole bunch of roses. I also found this candle from Costco as well. It's huge, it smells amazing, and it was also a great deal. I think it was around $15. And I love that it had kind of that little gold leaf on it with the white. So for this Thanksgiving tablescape, I decided to go neutral and use creams and whites. And the reason I went for this was because number one, I love whites and creams. They're so romantic and just peaceful looking. And number two, we got that really vibrant colored rug in the dining room. And I showed you a fall tablescape where I'm using the colors from the rug to make more of a colorful tablescape. But this version, I'm just going for a very neutral tablescape that isn't going to clash with the colors of the rug. So first of all, I used my little mason jars and cups I found and I cut the heads off of my roses to about four to five inches. I stripped the leaves off of them and I put about four to five in each of the little glasses that I found. So this created little mini arrangements that I'm going to use in my centerpiece. So I made several of these little arrangements, very easy, inexpensive with the roses from Costco. And I did this in advance, obviously we don't have Thanksgiving till the weekend and these are going to open up nice and full for our Thanksgiving dinner. So for the centerpiece, I started with that giant candle I found at Costco, put that in the middle and then staggered a couple of my white pumpkins on either side. And then I'm adding in the little tiny rose arrangements as well as some more pumpkins from the pumpkin farm. So I have a few different elements here the pumpkins the roses some of the greenery from the rose arrangement that I got from Costco as well as the little candles we're also adding in some faux pumpkins from Dollar Tree and we're mixing those in with the real pumpkins everything is white or cream so little B, my five-year-old, helped me as well, and she styled a lot of this table. She did such a good job. She absolutely loves to do this kind of thing, so I think it's really fun to let her help. So the goal for this arrangement was to make it really long and skinny because we have this very long table and we wanted to fill up the center as much as we could, but we don't want to take over the place settings. 
So basically when you're putting together a nice long centerpiece like this, just stagger everything and just make sure that it extends from one side to the other. Uh, one way to do this is adding in longer elements. So I'm adding in some antlers that I had on hand. And here's those Dollar Tree pumpkins that I did a little update to. You might remember that from a video earlier this fall. I just painted some Dollar Tree foam pumpkins with white chalk style paint, added the faux florals and the ribbon on them, and they looked nice in this arrangement as well. And I do love mixing and matching real and faux elements, in this case pumpkins. And now we're going to add some chargers to the table. So I didn't have 12 matching chargers. So what I did here was I just alternated a couple of different neutral color chargers that I had. So I have these rattan chargers and I have these gold chargers. I probably had both for quite a few years. I find that they're neutral enough to match pretty much any sort of tablescape or season. Little bees helping me arrange these two. And then we're just putting some simple white corral dishes on top. Now that I've had these dishes ever since we got married, I think my mom got them for me. I believe I have a set of 16 of these. I remember I did a video a couple years ago talking about how it's a great idea to have a really large neutral set of white plates because you can mix and match those. I, I found this faux lit birch tree at Costco a few years ago as well and I put this in the corner just to add some more sparkle to our tablescape. Now I love these floral kind of napkins. They're from April Cornell, but I didn't again have enough of those for this set of 12. So I just took some linen napkins in a cream color that I made a few years ago and I ironed those to be the same folded size as the April Cornell uh, floral napkins. And then same thing, I just alternated those. I also put some of these burlap fall leaves from Dollar Tree on top of each setting. And I'm simply using some silver colored cutlery. Again, they're not all exactly the same, but they're the same color, so I think it works in this situation. So I'm just simply putting a knife, a fork, and a teaspoon at each setting. And I know there's going to be some tablescape police here, so you put the blade facing in. I caught that and I changed it for you. I did this coffee station a few weeks ago. You might remember the video about this one and I found some pumpkin spice flavored coffee syrup. So I'm just arranging them on the side table here along with some sugars, some mugs and some teaspoons. I'm also adding a napkin to match the other napkins that I have on the table. So everything's nice and coordinated. This tray was also a DIY, a dollar store DIY. I will link to that down below. I'm adding some copper mugs to the tray and that makes for a nice coffee station in the dining room that my guests can enjoy. So finally, I wanted to light everything up and see how it looks. I love that everything's really all ready for my Thanksgiving dinner now. I just have to work on all the food and it's going to be quite a classic Thanksgiving menu. So I'm going to do a turkey, some mashed potatoes, some carrots, some Brussels sprouts, and some pumpkin pie and probably some salads and some other treats as well. I know I get this question a lot, so I wanted to address it. If I have such a large centerpiece, where do I put the food? And usually what I do is I put the food buffet style on our kitchen island. That way everybody can grab what they want. It's not passing things back and forth. I really like that style of dinner. And then everybody can grab all their food and come back and enjoy the centerpiece, the candlelight and each other's company.
Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in those comments below what you think of my Thanksgiving table for this year. If you want to catch some of the scenes from this year's Thanksgiving dinner, I don't think I'm going to share them here on YouTube, but I'll probably share snippets of the actual dinner and the food and all the chairs filled on my Instagram stories. I'm at the DIY mommy over there. So I hope to catch you over there this weekend. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm going to leave some more videos that I hope you'll enjoy right up here.